Greetings and salutations. I assume that the party to which I am speaking is capable of discerning from the acoustic properties unique to the vibrations emitted from my facial orifices the identity of myself, the speaker. Of late I have contemplated whether, despite the passage of many aeons and completed orbits around the sun since our last moment of contact, my audience is willing to get together for more moments face to face, for the purpose of reviewing what events have transpired in the interim. Conventional wisdom states that, generally, the passage of time will bring upon most individuals an efficacious recovery from emotional wounds. However, I find that I am an exception, for I have experienced no such recovery. Greetings and salutations. Is the party which I am trying to contact capable of clearly discerning my utterances? I find myself situated in one of the westernmost areas of the contiguous United States, the most populous of which, referred to as California, and I have been meditating vividly upon our former condition. The condition we experienced when we were relatively lacking in the time we've spent existing and were at liberty to do as we wished. No longer in my recollection are the sensations I experienced in the time preceding the point at which we've earned the adoration of seemingly every person. You and I have many key distinguishing features in which we keenly diverge. In addition, the physical distance between us amounts to a distance from which the entire sunlit half of the planet Earth could easily be observed. Offering greetings and salutations from the position of retrospect. I strongly suspect that the occasions in which I have attempted to establish contact with you could be enumerated to that of ten tens of tens in order to convey a message of remorse for all the actions I have elected to take. However, each occasion in which I have attempted to establish contact with you has failed for reasons of your absence. Offering greetings and salutations from an outdoor location. I take some small consolation from the fact that, with utmost truth, I could report that I have made attempts directed toward the goal of conveying apologies for causing overwhelming distress in you. However, my attempts appear to have been nugatory, for the fact of the matter is unequivocal. Whatever transgressions I have committed affect you for no greater duration. Greetings and salutations. In what condition or state does the party to which I am speaking find himself or herself? I must remark that I am given to satisfying my ego by steering conversations toward matters concerning myself only. For that I beg your pardon. I hope that the condition or state that the party to which I am speaking finds himself or herself in is one characterized by positive mental, physical, and emotional well-being. I inquire as to whether the party to which I am speaking has managed to liberate himself or herself from the named urban area with defined boundaries and a local government of a size larger than a village and smaller than a city, which so happened to be plagued with unstimulating circumstances and events. All parties concerned possess cognizance of the fact that both the utterer and the party to which I am speaking find that the window of opportunity available to each of us is gradually being shut. Therefore, I offer greetings and salutations from the position of retrospect. I strongly suspect that the occasions in which I have attempted to establish contact with you could be enumerated to that of ten tens of tens in order to convey a message of remorse for all the actions I have elected to take. However, each occasion in which I have attempted to establish contact with you has failed for reasons of your absence. Offering greetings and salutations from an outdoor location. I take some small consolation from the fact that with utmost truth I could report that I have made attempts directed toward the goal of conveying apologies for causing overwhelming distress in you. However, my attempts appear to have been nugatory, for the fact of the matter is unequivocal. Whatever transgressions I committed affect you for no greater duration.
for no greater duration. For no greater duration. For no greater duration. For no greater duration. Offering greetings and salutations from the position of retrospect. I strongly suspect that the occasions in which I have attempted to establish contact with you could be enumerated to that of ten tens of tens. In order to convey a message of remorse for all the actions I have elected to take. However, each occasion in which I have attempted to establish contact with you has failed for reasons of your absence. Offering greetings and salutations from an outdoor location. I take some small consolation from the fact that with utmost truth I could report that I have made attempts, directed toward the goal of conveying apologies for causing overwhelming distress in you. However, my attempts appear to have been nugatory, for the fact of the matter is unequivocal. Whatever transgressions I committed affect you for no greater duration.